project called Whack-A-Mole. I used it on Makey Making Scratch. So what I did was I took a pencil and wrapped it in foil and plugged it to the earth key so that whenever I click any of these, like press it, um, then my circuit gets completed and I can be able to do the project. So this one right here is connected to my left arrow key. Uh, this one in the middle is connected to my up arrow key and this one is connected to my right arrow key. So um, I made a scratch project um, uh, and I'll share my screen right now and show it. So this is what I did. So let's start the project. So I'm going to click a key and the rabbit is in the one on the right. So I'm going to click the right one. And then it disappeared. If you take too long to do it, then it disappears. Then you click any one. Then it's in the middle. So I click the one in the middle. It's on this one. So I click the one here, the middle, the middle, here, here, and here. You have to keep on clicking it. And then whenever it disappears, it means like uh, you took too long to do it. So let's start. And it keeps on going like that. Um, it keeps on going like that until you want to stop. Now I'm going to explain a piece of code. I'll explain the hair. So for the hair, um, I'm going to do the beginning part. So for the beginning part, what I did is when green plug is clicked, show and go to front layer then i switched costume to the hair a and then um i made it to go to this direction anywhere here then i said hello i have been eager to meet you i'm rabbit and i want to play a game with you for six seconds then i said it's called wag the rabbit for three seconds then i switched costume to hair b and then um i made my Sprite, um, glide two se seconds to a direction, and then I made it point in a direction. Then I made it glide again um, for two seconds, and I switched the costume to hair C. I, w I waited one second, and then I switched costume to hair A. I made it point in direction 90 and go to this direction. And then I uh, said, let's start for two seconds. So that's um, part of my code for the rabbit, and that's my scratch project. Hello, my name is Amabel, and I created a mask detector. So first, we went to a Teachable Machine so we could make our photos, or take our photos. So we had to collect all the photos that we wanted and have the right position so we could actually use it during the detect, so we, they could use it to detect. So we did ones with mask and no mask. And then after that, we trained our model so we could use it for our detector. Then we tested it, and as you can see last time, I was not wearing my mask. Then we export our model so we can use it for our scratch thing, or detector. So when the green flag is clicked, um, someone's gonna speak to you and it's gonna say, hello, what's your name, and are you wearing your mask properly? That's what it's gonna ask you, and you don't have to answer hello. honestly because it won't affect it. So I could do, Amari, like whatever name I want to, and it won't care. And I could say yes, so I could not be honest and say yes. I am going to scan you and find out. I knew it. Go to the principal's office and now. Then it says, okay, so I knew that you weren't wearing your mask. Now you have to go to the principal's office. That's basically what it says. But if I do wear my mask correctly, like this, and I start it over. Hello.
I am going to scan you and find out. Great job. Get to class before the bell. And now it's telling me, thank, good job for wearing your mask, and now I have to get to class on time. So basically what this detector does is it figures out if you are wearing your mask or if it's not, and it has to, and it's going to tell you where to go or what to do after that. So how the code works is basically you're going to set the voice, so how it talks. You're going to use the model that we just used before from Teachable Machine. We're going to turn our video on so they can see me and make sure that I'm actually wearing my mask. And then we're going to set the transparency so you can kind of see me, but not completely. Then we speak hello. We ask, what's your, it asks, what's your name? It asks, are you wearing your mask properly? And then it, it speaks, I'm going to scan you and find out. So after that, it's going to wait a second so we can process it. And so it doesn't say right after, I knew it, like go to the principal's office. Then it says, if your prediction is to, is no mask, so if it, the model detects or guesses that there's no mask on then it says speak i knew it and speak go to the principal's office but if it prediction is mask and it sees that you're wearing a mask it says great job and go to the to go to class before the bell and thank you that's all